Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 341 of Proc Review. And today, it, it's so new, I haven't even got a copy of it yet. It's uh, The Waters, comma, They Are Rising by Trey Gunn. <clears throat> For those of you who aren't in the know, Trey Gunn used to be uh, with King Crimson he, at, the, at the base end. Um, I think that's probably the best way of describing him. Plays the the, the war guitar Chapman stick hybrid. Um, uh, yeah, um, this album is out next week, but he released early on Bang, Bang, Band Camp. Um, so I've been listening to the download download of it, and the CD arrived next week. I th I heard the samples and I, and I thought well, sufficient was sufficiently decent enough that I'd feature it in prog review and spend next month's budget on a rather expensive CD but hey in for a penny in for a pound um, that's what they say um, yeah this is a departure from Trey Gunn uh, if I don't know if any of you have followed his career before but he usually um, produces well I don't know, you know ethnocentric rhythmic uh, instrumental music kind of stuff uh, clever clever um, and this is a um, this is a, a very different departure for him. That's why I was interested in it. That's why I thought I'd give it, give it, a, give it a play, give it a decent spin. Um, again, these, uh, I mean, these the pieces are based on uh, "Here Comes the Flood" by Peter Gabriel. There's a number of pieces called "Flood One to Four, I think it is, and. Um, so that takes. That's why it, the, the idea is flooding. That's the the general concept of of the album. It's uh, largely instrumental. The opening track is has vocals on it provided by. Let me get a name right. Dylan Nicole Bandy, and she has a very distinctive voice. And I think her voice and on the opening track is very uh, very well placed. I thought I've, I thought it was very enjoyable, and it complemented the music. They. Both complemented each other, uh, because what Trey Gunn has done is he's, he's he's thrown away all the percussion and the melody, and he's gone down the old soundscaping route. He's gone down the old improvisational looping, bleeping and blooping. You know, anyone who's followed this channel, you know you know what I'm talking about. You know that I like this kind of I like this I like this kind of stuff. I like bleeping and blooping. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, this is a, a, a largely improv. I like to think it's improvised, um, improvised um, collection of soundscapes, but with some, like I say, some vocal elements. Uh, a couple of the tracks, um, three days, last wave, have a, a rhythmic edge to them, created on the. I guess he's using. The, I guess he's using the war guitar again. I've not seen him play, but I'd imagine that's what he's using. Um, but yeah, he's um, there is a, like a rhythmic element to it. But a lot of what you hear on here is very reminiscent of what, the, like the old Frippertronics. It's a processed guitar, touch guitar, into a looper and loop back, and sounds are are built up. And they wash over you in waves. This isn't obviously. This isn't for everyone. Some of you will say pretentious load of old toss. Hey, I'm, I'm a purveyor of pretentious old tosh. That's why I, I um, I, I do what I do. Um, but I wanted to hear it because I'm, I, I am interested in, in looping music. Uh, I put, I put enough of it out there for you guys not to watch. Come on, you give those videos a watch too. They need love. They need love, like the Doctor Who reviews. <laughs> you don't like the TV reviews. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, but yeah, so when I when I heard some of the samples, I thought, well, I'm going to have a have a good listen to this because I, you know, not heard Trey Gunn do much of that. Even with King Crimson, there's only a few times that he he did this kind of music. Um, mainly with, I think it was with um, Tony Levin. When they did the double trio setup, they would do a like a soundscapey improvisation against each other. But 
Trey Guns kind of steered away from that. So I thought, well, oh, no, I'll give this a go, see 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 where we're going with this. And um, yeah, I mean, I I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it greatly. Um, because again, you hear elements of your own work in it. Because when you do loop in, you you're interested in the spaces that are left. Um, because that's what it's all about. It's all about leaving space and you know building up a, a thing. You know, it's like building up a what kind of what? How could you describe it? It's almost like a Jenga puzzle or something. You know, you're building upwards, or and you, and you don't want it all to collapse in on itself. Or a souffle. Yeah, we'll use the souffle analogy because you're building up, but you don't want it all to just get so heavy, top heavy that it collapses. And this is what we have got here. Um, again, his experience plays out, and you know, obviously working with the guitar craft and Fripp, it's all there for you to hear. But it's sufficiently different, you know. It's not. It's not. I wouldn't say it's particularly Fripp like. Um, um, he's bringing his own, his own um, touch, guitar, to the party. Now, that's an that's an in joke. Um, like I said, it's not for everyone. There is a lot of repetition, obviously, because it's looped. Um, there's a lot of repetition. One one criticism I have of it is uh, tonally, it is very similar across the album, and it can be a little bit uh, wearing. You can think, "Oh God, here we go again," um, and that's a shame. He didn't. He didn't um, because he is just using the touch guitar. I don't. There's no. I don't think there's any guitar synthesizer on there or anything. To make or heart, there's no. I don't think there's a guitar harmonizer or any effects to change or sculpt the sound he's putting out. So it is, like I say, it's very, very similar across the eleven pieces, and so you may get a little fatigued by that. Um, but again, somebody who's grown up on Frippertronics and soundscapes, it's uh, it's all par for the course. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I found it really interesting. Some of it really did, you know, really did touch me. I found it very, very relaxing. Um, it zoned me out, and that's a, that's a good thing. You know, it took my mind to another to to that place that I like to go when I loop myself. Uh, I like being in that zone, in that pocket, and it works in that respect. Um, again, this is well, he's calling it a, a boutique. A boutique release. Um, that's because, I guess it's because he's it's limited, um, which is a shame uh, because again, it is the dig even the digital album is twenty five bucks, which is I think it's a bit you know come on come on Trey you're not gonna you're not gonna widen your circle by that. I can understand the the CD copy being expensive, but I thought the digital version should be significantly cheaper. Um, that's just one of marketing. Uh, you know, sometimes you can catch more with a with a smaller net. I don't even know if that analogy works. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I really like. I really liked it. I'm gonna, you know, it worked for me. Not gonna work necessarily for all of you guys out there. It's good to hear Trey Gunn do something different. It's good to hear him, you know, moving into into different areas. Um, yeah, kind of, um, kind of miss him from the old King Crimson days. Deception of the Thrush and all that. Oh, oh, those were the days. Those were the days. But hey, hey ho, that's King Crimson for you. Um, but do check it out. Um, there are some samples on the Bandcamp page. I'm not, I'm not going to link to them because. Huh, he don't. He don't do any favors for me. I don't see any. There are no affiliate links. I can't make any any pennies out of this. But I'm sure if you search for Trey Gun and Bandcamp on the Google, it'll all fall into place. Or the waters, comma they are rising. You'll you'll find it yet. But there are samples there for you to listen to. And if you are a particular fan of the soundscapes and the Frippertronics, I think you will enjoy this greatly. Um, I think again. He should have done a few more vocals. He should have not him, but he should have written some more lyrics to go with these because I thought that really did work well. That first opening track, I thought that really, you know, and I was expecting more of that throughout the throughout the album. And it was kind of a, a shame that didn't happen. But overall, you know, I like I liked it. it I I'm a pretentious old prick who likes this experimental nonsense. 
What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Nothing. Um, in terms of a rating, um, it's a tricky one because I haven't got the CD yet. I'm going to have to wait for that because it's yet to be released. So in terms of uh, like a, a, a packaging and material, kind of, I, I can't really rate that. But I'm going to re re relate this on the, uh, the digital album. I think 25 bucks is too much money. It's far too much money. I think it should be in you know, 10, 10 to 15 um, even though it's a boutique um, release, I think you know you, sometimes you've got to you know cut the cloth to make the suit. If you know what I mean. All these bloody analogies. I've got to stop it. I'm talking. I'm talking bleeding nonsense now. Um, so I'm going to knock a point off for that. So I'm going to give this three beautiful umbrellas out of five that's three beautiful umbrellas out of five and yeah i thought it was um yeah i thought it was pretty interesting stuff and again those the four flood flood pieces are recorded live uh which adds an extra dimension to it because there are there are you know you hear you hear um you hear the performance if you know what i mean you can hear it's live and you know a few edits and that's it. I thought I thought it was good fun. Came out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting it. And I like things like that. Um, like I said, I like I like pretentious old bollocks. So, what can you do about it? <laughs> I, think I've gone on. I think I've gone on enough. Only one more thing to say, uh, and that is, um, oh, you, you know, you know all the so. Oh, I'm not going to bleed and go on about it. Bleed and social media crap. I'm fed up with it. <sighs> the weekend yay <laughs> and with that prog on